Managing your forms is the next topic of our presentation. To select forms for your clients, click on Add Forms. In the drop-down menu on the top, choose the family member that you are creating the form for. For example, you can choose to create the forms for the main applicant, spouse, or one of the children. The information that appears here is taken from the information entered about the dependents on the profile page. So, it's important that you type the dependents' data in the profile page before attempting to assign forms. On the left, all the forms are organized into different categories. Narrow down your selection by clicking on the appropriate category to find the relevant forms that you're looking for. All the required forms in that category are listed here. You can also access the instruction guide, where it will take you to the relevant CICs page that deals with the latest procedural details. Select the forms and click on Add Forms to add them to the list of available forms for your client. You can repeat this process to add additional forms for the spouse and other children. So click on Add Forms again. On the top, choose the spouse's name and proceed with form selection for the spouse. Apart from categorical search, you can also use the keyword search to find the form that you're looking for. For example, you can type Schedule 1 and see your desired form. Or you can type 5406. Although it's important to use the latest forms almost all the time, it may happen that an older version of a form that is still accepted by the CIC could be more favorable to your client's case. You can choose to see all previous versions of the form from our archive. If you need to add extra forms for a family member, or if you don't want to use the connectivity among the forms, you can choose Other under Family Member. This will open a blank form where the fields are not connected to other forms. Once you assign your forms, you can access a form by double-clicking on it. On the top of every page, you'll see the Save to Officio button. This button is used to save your form. When you open a form, it's important that the Save to Officio button appears in blue. If you open a form and Save to Officio appears in gray or does not appear at all, please close the form and open it again. Type into the form as desired. To save the form, Click on Save to Officio. You'll get a confirmation message that your form was saved successfully. It is important that you receive this confirmation. If you attempt it to save, and due to internet connection you cannot save, you can choose to save your form locally on your hard drive by clicking here. When the internet is back on, you can choose to open this form and click on Save to Officio to resubmit the form to the server. All the forms in Officio are universally linked together, so as you type in the information in one form, all the common data will be populated in other forms. This connectivity among the forms also extends to spouses and children's forms. For example, you can type in the information in IMM0008 generic form for the main applicant and all the relevant sections in the spouse's form get updated. In addition, if the same client comes back to you in the future and wants your assistance for their citizenship application, for example, the same data that you have entered previously will populate the citizenship forms. Furthermore, the advantage of this design is that if there is a new form available while you're working on the client's file, the data in the old form will populate the new form without having to re-enter the data. You can put note annotations or stamp annotations on a form guiding your clients where to sign or how to answer various questions. Your note annotations can be typed in any language. If you do not see the annotation bar, simply right-click on the gray area and ensure that Commenting and Markup is checked. You also need to ensure that annotation is enabled in the admin under Company Details. If you're using the Client Portal, you can choose to provide limited access to your clients to populate their forms. While this is a very useful and time-saving feature in the early stages of file preparation, as you continue to work on the forms, you'll get to a point that you may not want any further changes to be done by your clients. At that point, you can choose to lock the client's access. Simply click on this icon 
to lock or unlock access. When locking the forms, your client can still view their forms, print, and sign them. But they cannot make any changes to their forms. Another useful feature that you can use here is the ability to finalize a form. This is particularly useful if you have a repeat client. To better clarify this, let me give you an example. Let's say you assisted a client with their business application three years ago. That client has come back to you and now wants your assistance with their citizenship application. By opening the citizenship forms, all the previous data that you have from the client will pre-populate the citizenship form. But during these three years, some of the client's information may have changed. As you start making changes to the citizenship forms, all the data in business forms gets changed as well, as they're all linked together. As part of your record-keeping requirements, however, you need to keep your old submissions the way you submitted them. To address this issue, it's a good practice that, at the time of submission, you select your forms and choose Finalize for Submission. This will make read-only copies of those forms and place them under the Submissions folder for that client. Any future changes to this or any other form will not impact the finalized copy of your submissions. You can choose to finalize as many times as you like. You always have access to the original fillable version of the forms in case you need to make changes to them in the future. Earlier in this section, you saw how to add forms to a client. In addition to individual forms that you can select and assign to your clients, we have also developed a number of questionnaires for some of the more popular categories of immigration. These are a compilation of all questions in various forms, but we've put them in one place. These questionnaires can be used to initially obtain information from your clients. Once your clients populate the questionnaire, all the relevant government forms get populated. Since these questionnaires don't have any government logo, this will address the concern that you may have in providing the government's forms directly to your clients. Think of a questionnaire as another form. So, to add a questionnaire for a client, use the same procedure you used to add individual forms. Click on Add Forms. Choose the correct family member that the questionnaire is for. And go to the proper category to select the particular questionnaire. Repeat this process for adding a questionnaire for the spouse. It's important that you choose the correct family member in the drop down menu when assigning a questionnaire to the spouse. To keep it simple for your clients, it's a good practice to only assign the questionnaires to your client first. Once your client completes the questionnaires, you can delete these questionnaires and add the relevant government forms for that category. Please remember, deleting a form or questionnaire will not delete the data in the database. It simply removes the template that was used to obtain the information. This concludes the Forms Management Tutorial.